Check out that catfish. Are you freaking oh, kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion video. So I want to apologize real quick before I start this video just because I've been kind of lazy. Uh, I've been using this iPhone instead of using my big camera. I used to always use my big camera and my batteries died, like completely died. And I just kind of stopped using it. Well recently I bought new batteries and now I'm going to go back to using the big camera. It's getting cool shots. Using good lighting as well. Also, the audio problem. Lately, there has been a huge audio problem with missing audio files. And that is because of the iPhone. The iPhone 12 Pro Max, the 13 is the same way, the 12 Pro Max, they're all trash. So basically what happens is, and why there's missing audio files in my videos is, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it films at a variable frame rate. So I pick 60 frames per second, I film something, and it's changing the frame rate while I'm filming all the time. And you can't turn that off. You know, they say you can turn it off, but you can't turn it off. So it's constantly changing the frame rate as I film. So when I go to edit the video, the audio is there, everything is perfect. The entire time I'm editing, audio is there, and then I go to render it. Well, while it's rendering, the laptop cannot keep up with the variable frame rates. It's trying, it, it can't keep up. So what it does is it just throws out the audio to be able to keep up with what it has to do. So that is why I have been missing audio files in my videos, I'm sorry. It sucks. Like I said, it's not really my fault, it's the iPhone's fault. Normally I'm on top of it though. I can, I'll watch a video after rendering just to make sure that the sound is there. But a lot of the times I'm in a rush, you know, I try to upload daily and that's a lot of work and I just forget. I forget to watch it. I go from rendering to uploading and it's just, uh, I forget and I'm sorry, it's my fault. The audio should be there once I render it, but it's not. The entire time I'm editing, the audio is there. I render it, upload it, it's gone and it sucks. The processor in this phone or whatever it is sucks so bad. The 13 is the same way. <sighs> I hate to say it, but uh, I'm done using the iPhone. Going back to the big camera, so. Better quality, no missing audio files. Better quality, no missing audio files. It's gonna be a lot better, guys, I promise. I'm actually about to start working on the John Boat right now. It's like five in the morning, freaking cold, but uh, I can't sleep, so I'm just gonna try to work on the John Boat. I got a few things I wanna do today. I may even start throwing on some foam. We'll see, we will see. Or at least on the back end. The back end is ready for foam, so I think I'm gonna start doing it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I just got all of these support pieces here riveted down. This is to support the upper deck here. I didn't attach this piece going all the way across just yet because I want to add foam to that before I rivet it down. Just because it will be a whole lot easier to add foam to it while it's not attached than with it being attached. So we're gonna add foam. Actually, you know what, what time is it? 7.05. So the hardware store actually might be open, so I need to go get some acetone and clean off this piece and all this deck before I actually add foam to it. We got the acetone, so now we can actually add foam to the boat. Speaking of foam, this is the foam I'm gonna be using. This is a light gray, I think it's called cool gray, and then it also has the white underneath. So this is the self-routing foam. You have to have a steady hand to do it. If you mess it up, it's messed up. And you, there's no erasing your router. 
line. So at first I was like, you know what? I am not doing that. That's gonna suck. I'm OCD as crap. If one line is off, I'm gonna wanna rip it off and restart. But then I was like, you know what? Let's try to tackle it. So I got the smooth self-routing. So any line that I route is going to be white. And again, all these cracks, I painted the entire boat white on the inside. So we're gonna have white on the inside of all the doors. And we're also going to have white routed lines. So it's gonna look super clean, kind of like this boat here. I was kind of basing my whole design off this boat with the foam. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Another reason I got the self routing foam is because of the smooth uh, surface. A lot of the foam will have either the dots, I don't know the names for all this stuff by the way, but the dots or it'll be rough. It's called brushed. Brushed foam and it's just, I don't know, I did not like the look of brushed foam. It does not look very good in my personal opinion. So I got the smooth. The smooth still has lines, which I don't really like to be honest. I was hoping it was way smoother than this, but I can actually use these lines to help hide the cut lines. So that's good, I guess. But that's the foam we're using. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a piece of this so I can attach it to the face of this piece here. So first piece of foam going on the boat. And there is our first piece foamed out. Oh yeah. All right, now we can go ahead and rivet this in place. All right, so there is that piece put in. There's a small gap right here, but once I add the foam to this, that will cover up that gap with the thickness of the foam, so. Won't be seen. Let me hide all this wiring, wrap it up inside this little pocket, and we'll drop the plate on, and I'll show y'all kind of how I planned all this and how I did it. All right, so there it is with the top sheet on. Of course, the wires are under there, so it's picking it up, but there is a half inch lip right here, and that is where I'm going to be attaching the red LED lights. So again, there's gonna be LED lights going all the way around the lip of the boat all the way around it's gonna come through here and then inside the box but uh yeah so that's how that is going to look it's gonna look good there's the first piece of foam hopefully I like that gray we'll see we won't know until it's all put on but I mean the gray looks good on other boats so it should look good so for all this wire that's running over here it's going to be coming through here and then through here so I went ahead and put door guard on the edges so that doesn't cut to the wire. There's that. Also realize that I'm going to need to drill a hole right in here and then put a grommet. I want to do it right up under that lip so this transducer wire is uh, as close as can be to this wall. All right, so I just got the wire ran through the wall here. I drilled a hole out and then cut a grommet in half. And that is how I did it pretty much. So it's really dark in there, but hopefully you can somewhat see that. And this wire can still move through somewhat freely. So it's not pinching it or anything like that, which is good. But I just realized another problem. Before I can actually attach this piece for good, I need to go ahead and paint this lip all the way around the front. All right, so I started to tape off the outside lip of the boat to get ready to paint white. And I just don't think it's gonna look good. And then I saw this picture here on Google and yeah, I agree, it, it does not look good at all. So I'm not going to be painting the lip of the boat white. It's gonna stay red, but I am still gonna be painting the inside lip of the boat white, so. The rest of the boat on the inside is going to be white and gray, so I think it's gonna look good, white. 
just up to the lip. All right, just got all the lips taped off. I also went ahead and taped off all of the hinges as well because I want all those to be white. Some of them already are white. I'm gonna touch those up. But yeah, now we just get the paint. Painting, this freaking sucks, man. It's gonna take all day. I wanna do at least like three or four coats on this. Make it good. So yeah, it's gonna take all day, so. Also got the uh, trolling motor base here all taped off as well. I want to paint this white to match the boat. Got all this taped off so I can dip the brush down in there and get all that white as well, all white. I think I need to tape this side off. Yeah, we'll go ahead and tape this side off real quick. And then I'm gonna start painting. Fun, fun. So I just put on the second coat of paint. I'm going to do one more around the lip and then I'll call it good, but all the hinges are done. So we can go ahead and take off the tape. Nice and easy. So I've been going through all the hatches and got a razor blade or the acetone and I've been wiping off all the excess paint on all the doors. So there's still a little bit right here I need to take off with the razor blade but I completely wiped down the surface with acetone and got most of that off. I still need to do a little bit more over there as you can see. There's some uh, paint. I want to get all that extra paint off the top so the foam can stick really nice and clean to it. Don't want any overspray on the paint. So pretty easy to come off, especially after I already wiped it down. Uh, like I said, this is just the thicker stuff that didn't come off with the acetone. Just scraping it just like so. It's coming off pretty easy. Some spots are hard, some spots aren't, but you know. Little bit of that area there and then we're done with this and then i can actually start applying the foam but uh that's gonna be in the next video this video i talked a lot in the beginning so it kind of wasted a lot of time but i really wanted to describe why the audio issues were happening and i just want to say that it should never happen again and i'm sorry once again but i'm gonna work through the night maybe i got like no sleep as you saw, I woke up way too early today. Waiting for paint to dry. I'm gonna let this second coat dry on the lips and I will paint one more coat tonight and then that will be done in the morning. This will all be dry in the morning, all the hinges. And then we can really start adding foam. The boat will be ready for foam completely in the morning. And that's pretty exciting. I'll probably go ahead and paint this as well tonight get that ready get all that attached tomorrow as well tomorrow is going to be a pretty exciting day because we're going to knock out quite a bit of this hopefully i was hoping to be able to today but then i realized i had to paint and that killed a whole lot of time but it's gonna look good man but i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you all in the next one peace